Okay, so this is about the vestibular ocular reflex. As you can see, uh, it includes vestibular operators. Ocular means eye and reflex that it's a reflex. Uh, this vestibular ocular reflex is very important in the sense that um, the head is always in a sense of movement. Uh, a slight bobbing of the head always happen on top of the neck. And uh, since the head lodges the eyes, the eyes would then obviously be moving along with the head. So, so one can imagine that the eye would be in a, in a constant state of motion. Uh, and hence the images on the retina, uh, if something is not done for, to correct this, would uh, keep on bobbing as the head would move uh, throughout naturally. Uh, to mitigate this issue, uh, there is a whole reflex which connects the vestibular operators with the eye movements. And the, the, whole, the whole objective of the reflex is to stabilize the image of the retina during head movement. Okay? Now, what happens exactly is that uh, the direction of the eye movement is in the opposite direction than that of the head. Okay? Now, how does it happen? Right. To demonstrate what is the to demonstrate the visual vestibular ocular reflex (VOR), uh, let's look at what the eyes do during normal eyes do no, during head rotation. So, if this is point one, where the eyes are fixated, okay, point number one. We are fixated at this point right now, this point here, okay? Now, the head starts to rotate in this direction, right here, okay? So now the new point, and then it stops rotation at this point, and the new point is this. This is point number two, the new fixation right so the eyes were fixated at this point the head rotated and now this is the new point where the head has stopped after rotation okay so what is VOR when the head will start rotating the movement of the head is in this direction however VOR will ensure that the eyes will oppose will oppose this movement in in the eyes the VOR will ensure that the eyes do not rotate with the head they actually keep on fixating here where they were fixated initially okay that's the slow phase this is the I've just explained the slow component of this VOR okay there's another component the second component that when the rotation has been done the eyes then quickly correct themselves from this point to this point now so they will now quickly rotate to the newly fixated point okay during the rotation they actually kept their they kept their ground and kept fixating on the point where they were initially fixated the head rotated but right after the head has stopped rotating the eyes will quickly move or snap to the new point the new point of interest this component is the quick or fast component okay this is VOR this is how it stabilizes the position of the eye during head movement, head rotation. This is what we mean by uh, the stabilization of the eyes on the retina during uh, head rotation when the eyes oppose it, but at the end, uh, it quickly snaps to the new point of rotation. Uh, so, uh, this is how the image is preserved in the visual field. Uh, interestingly, the VOR also is present during uh, darkness, when you are in the dark. However, when there is light, uh, an additional reflex, the fixation reflex, helps it to stabilize the image on the retina. As I mentioned, 
that there are two components to this uh, uh, VOR. One is the slow component and the other is fast component. The slow component is a vestibular operative func operator's function. As, uh, 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 as in, it, this, is, this component is mediated by the vestibular operators, while the fast component is mediated by the brainstem. This comes in handy when we discuss nystagmus, which is the clinical application. Uh, uh, it's a clinical condition in which we have the uh, VOR, but there is obviously an abnormality uh, in the whole setup. And th this uh, information, uh, the slow, the slow component being uh, related with the vestibular operators, and the fast uh, component being uh, related to the brain stem. Uh, this can uh, make it easy for the clinician to locate the lesion. So now we move on to nystagmus. Okay, so what is nystagmus? Nystagmus is the involuntary, rapid, repetitive movements of the eye. This is not present in the normal uh, individual. Uh, this uh, happens when there is a problem in either the labyrinth, i.e. the vestibular operators, uh, or the brain stem, i.e. the brain, or both. Okay. Important now to note that it can be observed at the start, i.e. during the uh, slow component, or at the end of the period of rotation. Okay. It can occur in any direction from side, so the eyes can move side to side, up and down, or in a circular motion. Okay, uh, this is a diagnostic indicator of the integrity of vestibular system. So uh, the clinician, especially the neurologist, uh, can use the tests for eliciting nystagmus to see whether the vestibular operator is working fine or there is a problem. So now I'll show you a video in which the examiner uh, is examining a patient who has nystagmus. Okay, he will ask the person to look at his little finger. Uh, first, he will ask him uh, mo move the finger to this side. The patient will look towards the finger on 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 his left, on the patient's left, and then he will uh, ask him to look at his right. And the camera will focus on the eyes. You need to remember. You need to focus on when the when he moves his fingers. Uh, his, I beg your pardon. His eyes at the extreme of the movement. Okay. At the extreme of the movement of the eye, the eye starts to flicker. Okay, keep 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 an eye on that, and I'll explain it. Now he'll move the finger to the left, and you see this this part here, the eye flickers at the end of the movement. He'll show it again right here. Both eyes have it, but more is profound in the left eye. Okay, now he'll ask, he'll use the other hand and look at this. This is the maximum move. The flickering movement more here less here he'll do it again this is nystagmus okay as we saw in the video uh, there is a flickering of the movement repetitive movements typical of nystagmus at the end of the rotation okay now let's do the physiology let's just revise the physiology uh, when the rotation starts the slow components ensues this is as I mentioned uh, labyrinth means vestibular operators this is initiated by the labyrinth eyes move slowly in the direction opposite to the direction of rotation this is the typical VOR to keep visual fixation okay this this stuff is repeated because the basis of nystagmus is actually the VOR the aberration of VOR okay so he's just explaining the normal VOR, the slow component. Uh, now the fast component, when the limit of the movement is reached, this is a brain stem component, the eyes quickly snap back to the new point of fixation towards or in the direction of the rotation, as I mentioned when I was discussing VOR. Okay. Now, from this point onwards, this is nystagmus. Now, in, in the normal person, when the eyes snap quickly to the uh, new point of fixation, when the rotation has ended, this stops, this stops here. No new thing, no new drama happens now. However, in a patient with nystagmus, the eyes will then again start to move slowly in the opposite direction. Remember the flickering of the patient in the video? When he uh, uh, turned his eyes ex to the extreme left, they did turn to the left, but especially the left eye, if you could just re rewind and see the uh, video again, there was flickering movement uh, again towards the 
first object towards the middle i.e. away from the point of new fixation that is called nystagmus and in this case it's post rotatory nystagmus okay uh, nystagmus has two types i have just explained one the post rotatory one i.e. where uh, it happens at the end of the rotation uh, this is uh, uh, an issue with the copula uh, which is the sensory part of the uh, semicircular canals however it can present at rest which is a brainstem dysfunction or an acute fracture of the temporal bone okay Uh, this completes our uh, topic of the semicircular canals. Uh, in summary, I, we have discussed uh, VOR, a vestibular ocular reflex, and how it uh, forms the basis for this clinical disorder, nystagmus, uh, its components, and its types. Okay. At this level, at the undergrad level, uh, this I, I believe would be sufficient. However, you can take any uh, standard textbook uh, to read upon this stuff.